Hello everybody. This is Elisa from Nature Box Pet Emporium. Today we got in a small fish shipment to supplement our fish section. Um, we're trying to be real patient with our tanks. Um, we custom built our stand so it puts a little bit behind schedule. But we're slowly getting everything filled up and this will be kind of a, a bread and butter type of shipment to help you know, fill the tanks. Well, let me just show you guys what we got. So box number one. Anybody who's been keeping fish for any amount of time knows how important a stable environment is. Um, whether it's an aquarium or a terrarium, you have to make sure that your environment is ready to handle whatever you're going to put into it. So right now, we're ready to add things like these guys. Glowfish. Ooh. Good for kids, kids aquariums. Yes, for anybody who just likes something real colorful and different. Big Placostomus, what type is that? So this is just a common Placostomus, good for larger cichlid tanks, larger semi-aggressive tanks. Um, you know, everyone calls them cleaner fish, but they poop so much that, you know, they kind of offset any cleaning they want to do, but they kind of match well with the semi-aggressive. Nice. So we got some, some albino some. bristlenose placos. I like these babies. ones. And then these ones are much smaller species, great for community type tanks, smaller tanks. And are you going to feed those? Are you going to feed those food? Or are those just eating the algae on the aquariums? So, Placostomus, it is almost impossible to grow enough algae in an aquarium to feed your Placostomus completely. So, yes, you do have to feed it a wafer of some sort that sticks together in the water. They'll say once a week or so. It just depends on the load in your aquarium. Um, but yes, we do have algae wafers and we do feed algae wafers. What are these guys? Some more glowfish. Oh, um, neon rosy barbs. Close. So, <laughs> kind of. Another big Pocostomus. Another big Pleco. We'll see. So lots of, lots of community type fish. We got some glow light tetras, the little orange ones. Once those color up, they'll be real pretty. Uh, some, some flying foxes. Really cool. So these guys are actually great algae eaters as well. Um, do good in most community tanks. And then glass bloodfin tetras. So oh, these are tetras. awesome. I don't think you can see it through the bag. No, but... once, we, once they get in the tank, maybe we'll get a shot of them. All right, yeah. so box number one. On to two. Box number two. Fish. Oh, look at that one fish. So we got some pretty neat angel fish. So we got a black bell angel and a couple koi angels. Cool, cool. Um, some gold garamis. Those are neat. What do we got here? The jaguar cichlids. They're kind of faded in the bag, but these guys are a great addition to any large South American tank. Look, color up real nice. Okay, when, they, when they get big, you can see the little bottom teeth sticking up like a little piranha. It's super cool. Oh, it kind of remind me of you. Oh. So, Haplochromis er, er, erictania. However, you want to pronounce that, these guys get really, wow. really pretty. That's a cool so even, Yeah, even faded in the bag, you can still see the blues and yellows. What's retail price on that guy somewhere? Um, under $20. That's it? So, wow. Yep. Some albino tinfoil barbs, great dither fifth for large cichlid tanks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, some lemon Oscars. Hard to go <coughs> wrong with a big ol' Oscar. Just be aware that these guys get big. Mm -hmm. And eat everything. Some Cory catfish. Can't go wrong with Cory cats. And some sunburst peacocks. Those are really pretty. So another African type of cichlid. All right, so that ends box two. On to box number three. The last box. 
This is just small shipment, right? Yep. So, just three small boxes today. How many tanks total are in in the retail systems? Over hundred. So, we'll have we'll have bigger, much bigger shipment or videos and shipments right. down the road. But like you said, this we're just going slow and steady wins the race. So, can't go wrong with the, just some nice big goldfish. And these guys retail for only three dollars and fifty cents. Wood. What? Look at look at him. Look at him. His face. Would go great with a snapping turtle. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites. So some assorted male guppies. We got some nice cobras. Oh, cool. Look at that guy. Like a sunset te Cuba tequila. Sunrise. Uh, yeah. Nice. Can't, can't go wrong. Some pretty guppies. We got some balloon mollies with a little baby in there. Oh, look how cute it is! I'm going to name him mm, Giuseppe. <laughs> He's Italian. <laughs> a few bettas. So we got some Sorted double tail bettas. So double tail bettas go for $7.99. So not bad. Nice colors. Let's see, ah, here's the other bag of goldfish I was looking for. Good old glowfish. Great for your kids. And then uh, some solar flare sort tails. Cool, cool. So what's the process for this? You're gonna start to acclimate them? Mm -hmm. So now we gotta take all these bags, float them in the tanks for about 15 minutes to let the temperatures equalize from the bags to the aquariums. And then uh, most of these will just be able to cut open and put in the tank. Right on. So guys, come uh, find these fish. And what do you got to say to everybody, Lisa? Okay. <laughs> do it again. All right. All right, let's just roll with it.